this is my presentation um, on digital immigrants and digital natives as part of the EDC MOOC um, assessment for the uh, artifact uh, as an assessment part of the EDC MOOC course. My name is Andy Tattersall. Uh, and this is me, aged three years old, uh, at which point I would be regarded as a digital immigrant back in the 19, sort of like early 70s. Um, and that's what a lot of research or certainly a lot of uh, the talk would have, would have said. And that's because I'm 46, my age. I was educated before the advent of such as email, Twitter, hashtags, Google+, social networks. I didn't get my first PC until 1995 or thereabouts. And I didn't use the web or email until around 1996 when I was kind of into my uh, uh, early 20s. Um, but I still use things like Apple Mac. I use um, I use Tumblr. I've got two Tumblr blogs. I use uh, a, an iPhone. I also have a, a Windows 7 machine. I use XP. I've got a Chromebook, so I'm adept on all various different platforms. I use smart technologies. I'm able to use tablets and they uh, smart touchscreens. I use video quite a lot for what I do. I tweet. I use microblogging sites. And I also share images and pictures using things like Instagram and Flickr. So I use these and many, many more technologies every day. So does this mean that I've gone native at last? Um, if that's what we're to believe in, in that actual term. And when did this happen? Have I always really been a native? Even though half of my life was spent outside of technology. Can natives become immigrants? When I was at school, going back to sort of like the 1970s, this is how I did my work. It was handwritten. There was no technology involved beyond that of a pen and a blackboard. Um, so when did I really go from sort of like using the pen and the blackboard to using something like a touch technology or a mobile technology? And did that make me go from being an immigrant to a native? Um, and in terms of the real world, we look at things like the New World, where the immigrants were the people who travelled across from one continent to another, uh, and the natives were the ones who changed. Whereas in this terms, in technology, we look at natives as being the, the younger generation who have come in from the outside and have changed the world of technology and learning and how we work. But there's something wrong with that picture for me. I don't agree with that. Um, I think it's very much black and white. I think technology has always existed in some form or fashion before the Google generation. It's just that we think of people who've, who've been of that age and, and dealt with technology all the time as being um, natives. But immigrants are capable of massive change themselves. Um, and technology and learning really are a massive world of discovery that we're just finding out that we're all going in together. And those who succeed can make money out of this and they can make personal gain, gain and achievement. But as a group of people, as society, as technology becomes more affordable and ubiquitous, will we all actually become natives as it becomes natural to us all? Um, will we all go from being humans eventually to being post-human as technology starts to enhance ourselves as we go towards things like singularity? Over the course of time, um, as time goes on, will we change? Will we, um, sort of, will we actually move from sort of like being organic creatures to being cyber based uh, and will that make us all digital immigrants as we go from being humans to these kind of enhanced creatures and really quite possibly I think that that actually kind of forms what could be a dystopian future for us all um, as we move away from our human selves even though I'm greatly involved in the massive fan of technology and believe in it Will we all become sort of like what I think are immigrants of the human race um, and no longer what we are now? Will we change from that to that? And the alternative is will we turn our back on it? Will the future generations turn their back on it all? Will they turn their back on technology and go for a more organic, bespoke, natural future? Will people like my daughter who's five years old change and, 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 and not become a digital immigrant or a post-human and stay just purely human. So that's my presentation. I hope you found it uh, uh, worthwhile. Thanks a lot for watching.